Right, good afternoon and welcome back to another vlog here on Coaster Crazy YouTube channel. Yeah, this is actually part three of the day here in Brighton. I've done the Sea Life Centre, which is just across the road of me there. Obviously, the entrance to it is down here. Uh, I've done the i360, which you can barely see in the distance now because it's so cloudy. And now just about to do the Palace Pier, Brighton Palace Pier with the rides on it. Um, I have actually been gifted a ticket, a wristband and permission to film on the rides. I haven't picked the best day to come here. Uh, you can see I'm now wearing my me, uh, me little beanie hat. It's absolutely freezing now. I should have worn my bigger coat as well. Um, obviously with my little jacket, I've got my, my mic on because it's quite windy as well. I just actually went back to the car to charge the mic and the receiver back up from pretty much nothing to a full charge. It took about 10 minutes, so which is awesome. I'm loving this camera. It's so good, like, yeah, everything about it, like the picture quality, the sound quality, just everything about it's just been so good so far. So yeah, I'm gonna make my way onto the pier, just sort of here, really. Um, I am parked down there, by the way, and yeah, I just wanna point out something as well. I did actually uh, get gifted ticket for the i360 uh, and in the vlog I actually said the guy's name completely wrong the person who I mentioned was the guy that works here is the ride engineer that has allowed me to film on the rides so when I've done this clip and come back on again I will mention the correct person that gifted me the, the ticket I'm probably in the edit from the i360 I'll probably have to clip that bit out or something yeah because I, I said the wrong name you know what I'm like, it was an email that he sent me and as I'm scanning through it, obviously I've, I've gone through and lost his email somewhere. But yeah, it looks absolutely rammed on here. There, there's a log flume, there's a couple of coasters, there's a ghost train. It looks absolutely rammed. In fact, the whole of Brighton is really busy. Um, I have actually just done some Insta stories. I did the Quadrophenia little tour. I went to Quadrophenia Alley. I have had a an American breakfast here as well, which was amazing, at JB's American Diner. Um, I've done the i360, I've walked from there all the way back to the car to charge me mic and the receiver, and then I've walked back up to here to the pier. So, um, yeah, let's go and check it out. Brighton Palace Pier. Right, so let's go on to the pier. Yes, it's really old pier. I will look on Wikipedia in a minute to get you the year it opened because I can't remember. But yeah, all you've seen it if you watched the vlog last week. But yeah, all restrictions to so no dogs, no cycling, no riding scooters or skateboards, no rollerblading, no drinking alcohol, no smoking, no vaping. Yeah. <laughs> It's one of those, isn't it? So yeah, the person who got me the ticket for the i360 is called Kevin Seymour. So thank you very much for that. Um, it's been a really cheap day, to be honest. The only thing I've paid for is parking. Yeah, I got the Sea Life Centre because I've got the Merlin Annual Pass. I've got the 360 gifted to me and I'm hopefully getting a gifted wristband for the pier as well and able to film on rides but you can see it's not it's not the best weather for filming anything it's so cold at the moment I mean in fact what was it it's nine degrees I mean it was 11 degrees when I set off this morning but it's, it's bloody awful now it's, it's quite windy it's not too bad but yeah you can just see in the distance the i360 that was an amazing experience that I mean I'd like to do it at night time or sunset, but here's the Brighton Palace Pier. Yeah, there's the i360 there. Unbelievable, yeah, you can just sort of see like the, the I don't know what it is, it's the, the moisture from the sea coming in, but you can't see much in the distance down there. To be honest, it looks a lot brighter on the screen than it does in person. Yeah, let's go and have a look. I'll walk through the arcades. 
show you what's here on the pier, obviously the rides as well. Just bear in mind they are closed midweek at the moment still because it's still out of season, so they're closed Wednesdays and Thursdays. Oh god, it's absolutely it's rammed in here. Yeah, so Brighton Palace Pier opened in 1899 and yeah, it's a huge pier. I didn't realise, just looking on Wikipedia, it's actually the third pier to be built. There was three piers here. Um, you know, the West Pier that's just over there was burnt down in a fire and it's still standing. Well, there's some of the structures still standing anyway. Yeah, it's always a shame when piers get damaged in bad weather or arson attacks and that sort of thing. But yeah, the actual pier itself, I'll just get the Wikipedia back up as well. 525 metres long, so it's pretty long, or if in feet, it's 1,722 feet. And it was designed by R. St. George Moore. Yeah, opened in 1899, 124 years ago. There's the old pier out there. Somewhere, it's there, it's there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I actually came across another YouTuber. I think he actually messaged me asking if he wanted to do some sort of collaboration video. So I checked out his channel and he came and did the pier midweek. I think he said he came on like the 4th of January or something. It was like a Wednesday. And he's, he's going around saying, oh, I can't believe it's closed. Oh, why is everyone everything closed? I don't, I don't get it, everything's closed. Well, it's out of season, like most stuff's closed. Yeah. You know, so yeah, always check websites before you come and visit something because you never know if it's going to be open or closed or what. Um, but yeah, you've got the Palm Court restaurant here as well. I think something is closed on the pier today. I'm not entirely sure myself, to be honest. But the rides are running just down here. I don't know what is running and what's closed. I think the log flume's closed because I could see two of the boats on the lift hill. So you've got the Palm Court restaurant just here. Looks quite nice. <laughs> yeah, there's a the West Pier. Just, just there. Yeah, you get a good view from the pier of Brighton itself. It's just a bit of a, bit of a miserable day. Here's my mate again. Oh, <laughs> he's gone. He's off skis. Right, let's go and check out the rides. Uh, they're just a bit down, a bit further along down here. Like I said, there's um, a ghost train and a couple of coasters. You've also got a Zampella air race as well, which I, 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 I've not actually been on. I, I don't think I actually fit on it last time. I, I sort of did and he sent it and then it, it, it stopped and I had to get off. So yeah, let's go and check out the rides. Yeah, so just walking along, getting some different angles and stuff. You can see uh, so I'm still rocking the shorts. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people don't actually like walking on piers. Well, because you can see right through the bottom. I always thought it was a bit creepy when I was a child as well. So yeah, um, I've not walked that far really, to be honest. There is some donut shops and things open here as well. Like I said, the restaurant down there. And here's the ride, so I've been told to go to the ticket booth and pick up a wristband. There is toilets on here as well. I don't think there's anything new this year. Oh, in fact, I think there is something new. It's a VR twister, is what I read online. So there's a, a, tra a traditional twister here, but it's got VR headset on it as well. So there's your uh, wristband hut just here. Right, so before I pick up my wristband, I'll just show you the prices of stuff here. So it's a Super Saver wristband, it's 32 pound. Kids wristband, it's 22 pound. I don't think they're running the VR because it's there's no price for it. But yeah, ride with VR. 
or you can pay for individual rides. You buy a, a card, a, per, a prepaid card, and you just top it up as you go along. So the, the, the most expensive thing on here is a twister with VR, which is eight pound. Uh, other things, four or five pounds for rides as well. Right, so I've got my wristband. Uh, yeah, I just gave my name to the lady in the ticket booth. I got a wristband. However, again, like I said earlier, I think I picked the wrong day to come back to Brighton. Yeah, the river, Wild River, the log flume is closed. The Ghost Train Horror Hotel is closed. The chair plane's closed. Uh, and the Dragonfly is closed. So they've got like four attractions closed. So if you're buying a wristband, just bear that in mind. Um, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, very, very grateful for him to give me the wristband. I can get on a couple of coasters that are here. I, from coming here in previous visits, I know that Turbo won't send unless it's got a full train of people on it. So yeah, I'll have to wait and see with that one. <laughs> yeah, you got the, that, I think that's the restaurant that's closed at the moment. Yeah, pretty sure it is. That's still out of season. So rides, you've got the Zamperla Air Race over there, you've seen there's a teacups there in the middle, a carousel, a Helter Skelter, the, the frogs just here. Yeah, I'm gutted really, because that's probably one of the main draws for the pier really, the Horror Hotel. It's really good. Oh yeah, you can see where the chair planes are closed. <laughs> it's, not, it's not even there. Yeah, it's really odd how, and I mean, at least the rides are open in winter anyway. There's not many places that are open at the moment. The fun fairs are starting next weekend. But yeah, it's like a hybrid ghost train. It's got like coaster track in it. So you go up a lift, spiral lift hill up here, around the top, and you've got this huge drop down at the top. I can't remember if it's any good inside or not. It's been years since we've been here. Like I said, you can't bring dogs on the pier, so I've got to come on my own. Yeah, I've not seen Turbo go around once since I've been here. Yeah, apparently the uh, one of the ride operators is a fan of the channel. So I'll see what happens. Like I said, I have got permission to film a rides. I've got my chest harness with me. So it will be the first time using the Action 4 on rides. Um, obviously, I won't be using the mic on the ride, so it'll probably pick up a lot of the wind noise. But yeah, here's Turbo, Pinfari Looper. It's rough as anything, this thing. Is it even open? I, I don't know, it's got this, I don't know. Minimum of 12 riders, have they changed that? I'm sure it was about four. Yeah, they've like, it's, it's stuck on with sellotape. Minimum of 12 riders. There's no one even, is there anyone on it? I don't even think there's anyone on it. There's only two people on the Dodgems. I'm gonna to have to come back in the summer, aren't I? Because there's no way I'm getting on turbo today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at that. There's not a single person even waiting to go on it. No one's riding, mate. You, you need too many riders. You used to have a big booster here as well. Exactly where the Zamperla Rockin' Tug is. Yeah, there was a massive booster just here that went over the sea. I, I didn't fit on that either. You got the waltzer just there. I do a... Oh, there's about to send the waltzer. I could have jumped on there. Yeah, you got crazy mouse as well. Yeah, that's five pound per person. If you want to ride the crazy mouse. You got some trampolines over here. Well, the music's really loud on here. get some pictures as well follow me on Facebook and Instagram as well yeah it's um the rides are going around but there's not a lot of people on them though yeah here's the twist over here I oh, said so it's got VR on it as well now there's like two people on the whole ride it's nice that it's undercover though. Yeah, I think the biggest queue is for the crazy mouse over there. I think that was actually one of my thumb, <laughs> my channel thumbnail for a while when I started. Yeah, Wild River, yeah, it's all in bits here. 
couple of boats, you can't see them from, yeah, you can just about, there's a boat there and there's another one on the corner. And that's your lot, that's your rides. Yeah, it's a problem with out of season stuff. You're not guaranteed anything to be open at all. So it's good that they've got a few rides open and you've got your donkey derby thing here, or dolphins. This is popular. And there's some more arcades in the middle. Yeah, that's your lot. All right, so that's really nice. I just spoke to a member of staff about the ghost train and they said, yeah, it'd probably be open next week. It's still in the maintenance stage. Uh, and also I asked them about on-ride film and they said, yeah, they got an email through to all the staff to say that I was coming down. Really good. <laughs> like the marketing for this place was actually spot on. I emailed them and I got a reply literally within a couple of hours. So that was really good. And I really appreciate that because still to this day, there's places that I email and I never even get a response back. So yeah, I think I should just queue up for the uh, crazy mouse really. I did ask about turbo coaster as well. Yeah, you do need a minimum of 12 riders. So he basically said I can stand and wait for someone to turn up, but I could be there for hours. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go on the crazy mouse. Right, here we go on crazy mouse. Share yeah, silly rule. They did say that no single riders, you need a minimum of three people. And to be honest, well, I mean, you can see the girl with the phone, they're not really bothered. <laughs> I, just, I just said, like, do I need the chest harness on? He's like, well, do what you want, really. So, is there an on rider film of policy or not? I don't know. Yeah, first. I think this is my first POV with, uh, with, with me Action 4. But well, yeah, heading straight to the sea here. <laughs> Yeah, sorry if there's any wind noise. Oh. oh man. Yeah, very unique place to have a coaster. I know there's one in Blackpool as well. Woo! Oh. Here we go! Oh, oh god, that time machine! <laughs> Get ready for the spinning! Ah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh! Oh! I think I brought me back then. Ah! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Hold on! Yeah, that's why you don't hold your phone on here. Ah! Because it'll end up in the sea. Oh! Oh my god! Ah! Whee! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Oh yeah! Woo! Ready for sharp breaks? Oh man, that was awesome! Oh my god, we're still going! We're still going! Oh, he's got to throw up! How was that? It was alright. It was alright. <laughs> Could do with a bit of a paint though, but yeah, really good. <laughs> Yeah, crazy mouse. That was actually awesome. Yeah, even I saying to the, like, the operators, it really needs a paint job on it. It doesn't look great off-ride, especially people that have never been on it before that are not used to rides, look at it and go, nah, not sure. But it's actually one of the best spinning coasters I've ever been on. It's so fast on the spinning. Yeah, if you didn't hear what I was saying on-ride, bit of a crazy policy here is a minimum of three riders per train. So I went up there on my own and he wanted me to share with three other people. I'm like, no, I want my own mate. He's like, no, well, there's a minimum rider policy. You've got to have at least three in the car uh, to, for him to send it. So I waited for the people you saw that I was on with, the two people, and uh, yeah, jumped on it. Yeah, the great thing is with the Action 4 now, if I want to start filming um, 
on ride with my chest iron, as you can see the mount, I just basically unattach it to the handle, like, it's a bit fiddly because of me thumb screws in the way, so I basically, look, I can't do it, <laughs> like that, and then attach it to that. No more faffing around with thumb screws, although, like I said, it's a bit close, the gap between there and there is not, is not the best, so it's a, it's a bit fiddly, but you don't want it to be easy to take off, if that makes sense, and now, then I have to just attach it to that. Awesome, right, I think I'm gonna go on the the waltzer now. I did ask if I can use my handle and he's like, no, it has to be on a chest harness. But yeah, I'm not getting on turbo. There's literally no point of that at all. In fact, I don't think there's anyone waiting for that. I might as well get on the, are you ready to send that? Are you ready to send that? I'll go, come round and come on it. I'll go on the dodgems, we're about to send it. Let's go, dodgems. on the dodgems yeah I've actually got a chest harness on and a seat belt believe it or not oh yeah pretty much a full track on here gets me in the mood for the Valentine's Fair starting next weekend got one on Brooklyn's which is one of my favorites oh there you go <laughs> Yeah, dodgems were all right. Uh, the reason for the very short clip was I actually forgot to start recording. I thought I was recording, but I looked down at the camera, I'm like, it's not recording. <laughs> so it's a dodgems anyway. But yeah, I was trying to say it on there that um, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting back to the Valentine's Fairs with the first one next weekend at Brooklyn's. I'm looking forward to that. It's always the highlight of the year for us really like the Brooklyn's Valentine's Fair. I'm also doing a podcast next weekend as well, so I'm looking forward to that. So stay tuned for further content. Yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the past videos here in Brighton. We did the Sea Life Centre, the world's oldest aquarium, and the i360, the world's tallest moving observation platform. Yeah, I think I'll do the uh, the twist now. I'll remember to turn the, uh, the camera on as well. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm recording now. <laughs> I remembered to turn it on. Um, yeah, so the, the, there's actually VR on here. It's an extra three pound to go. I might actually go over and and pay for the VR, see what it's like. I do like VR. I, I have the I have the Meta Quest Two at home. There's a VR. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I might come back later in the year. I might wait until they've got a new ride here to come back for. I don't really know. But at the end of the day, I've come here to show you guys what's here if you want to come in the future. You know, it's, it's a nice pier. They've got some decent rides on here. Uh, when they're all open, that is. I'm gutted about the ghost train, but like I said, it, it is out of season anyway. Oh god. <laughs> My American breakfast is coming back up. I think it's time to go and get a coffee in a minute. There you go, just been on the twist. Yeah, I might come back in a minute and do the VR, try the VR out. Like I said, I've got the Oculus Quest 2 um, at home anyway, and I do like VR experiences if they're done right, but VR and a twister. I'm not sure, is my hat on straight? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, I just asked if I was able to hold my camera and film myself so I can explain what's going on. I don't really know, but other than what I've been on, I, I'm, not do, I'm not doing the, well, I don't even know if I'll fit on it. I can't do the coaster. There's no one even waiting for that. I might do the waltzer. Yeah, I'll go over and do the waltz. I think they've just done a cycle, so they'll be ready to send that. you got the frogs behind me. I've done hundreds of frogs. Gutted about the uh, 
turbo coaster though. I mean, I have done it, I've got the cred, so it's not like I haven't been on any of the rides here. It's like trying different experiences out. VR Twister, I don't know, it might be worth a go. But yeah, I don't know if I told you as well, but yeah. This camera, because of the magnetic clips as well, I can actually attach it to stuff. So like this railing here. I can stick it to stuff. Uh, what, about, what about sideways? I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, you can, you can attach it to things, which is really cool. It's not very strong though, unless you've got the, the mounts, but yeah. Waltz are up next. Let's send it. was actually pretty decent I turned you off and I got pretty much the same amount of what I filmed extra on there and oh god yeah I couldn't do that more than a couple of times in a row I tell you what though I'm stood around waiting for people to go on here with me there's just no one here there was a couple of lads and they said oh is, do you know if the coast is open and I sort of said, no, you need a minimum of 12 people. And they've come all the way to, from Newcastle and didn't realise they were wait, waiting over there to pay for the rides, uh, actually at the ride. But yeah, uh, I don't think I'm getting on there. Um, right, I'll go and walk around and show you the rest of the stuff here. We've got the Horror Hotel as well. I I'm gutted that's closed, but if it needs maintenance and fair enough, and you've got the frogs, which I'm not bothered about, and the Zamperla Air Race, which, I might, I might not get on. <laughs> oh, here we go. I mean, it, it's actually quite comfortable. If this full, does a full circle, or the first, or the full, full cycle even, this will be my first ever Zampella air race. Oh God, here we go. Ah! What do you mean? Oh. oh, I don't like it. <laughs> God, actually, it's not too bad. It's all right. It's all right. Woo! Yeah. So last time I came here, oh, it sort of did. Well, it didn't even. It didn't even send it. It stopped and I had to get off. Wee! Ah! Oh my God! Woo! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe 
This is my first ever Zampirla air race. I haven't even done the one at Drayton Manor before. It just, it's just not for me. Oh my God. Ah! Woo! Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really enjoying this at all. Oh God, get me off it. That's it. Oh, thank God for that. Alright, there you go, my first ever Zamperla air race. I've actually been standing around for about the past 20 minutes from to send it again. I don't know what it was all, but two people just had to get off. I think it's one of those rides that might be a bit temperamental. I mean, you got to expect to, and it's on the seaside after all. And yeah, I'm never doing one again, ever again. I, it was quite a comfortable ride. I just, it just wasn't for me, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I hope the, the footage is okay on there. I'm gonna go around and see if I can wait to try and get on turbo now. I, I, it's probably not gonna happen, but I think I'm pretty much done for rides. And then I'll show you what's on the other side here. There's, I think there's a few kids' rides. There's hundreds of seagulls flying around, but yeah, the air race was pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's not for me. Especially after doing the walls are in the spinning mouse as well. There's a lot of spinning rides on this pier. Oh, in the twister as well. You got a few juvenile rides on this side. You've got a little tiny drop tower here. That's like themed to a submarine. There's a few other little rides just over there as well. So there is plenty for the kids. Like I said, you've got the arcade in here as well. The VR dome. Of his VR rides in here. There's fish and chips on the pier. I think there's actually three fish and chip shops on the pier because there's one at the entrance and there's one midway down as well. But yeah, a bit good if I don't get on turbo today. I'll just walk through this arcade and show you what's in here. I hope the audio is okay without the mic on. But yeah, like the transition from outside to inside with the camera is great. Really, uh, I'm really enjoying using this. Like I said, I could just clip it off. Just clip it off the, the mounts and just, I'm just using it handheld now. And it's so small and so, it's so lightweight as well. You can hardly tell you, you're actually holding it. Yeah, so there's a couple of VR machines in here. My God, I think it's like five pound a ride. Pill tables, air hockey, and that sort of thing in here. Where's the exit? Oh, over here. Yeah, that's the only thing in here. Don't know why it's called a VR dome, no. But yeah, let's uh, let's go back outside. No filming or photography. It's been permitted in the arcade. Oops. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I'm going to sack it off. <laughs> I went up in the station, there's like no one's interested in riding it whatsoever, so I've had enough rides here, i am got to make a move now, i am got to walk back to the end of the pier and wrap up the vlog. But yeah, it's, I mean there's people here and there's people spending money, people buying the cards and the wristbands and stuff, but it's just such a shame that you need a minimum of 12 riders, I mean it's like the most l ludicrous thing ever in a, an amusement park stroke theme park to have that rule there's people wanting to ride it but you can't go on it because nobody else wants to go on it if that makes sense and because it's not going around people think it's closed so <laughs> yeah then when there's rides here like with nobody on them now when the time it's only 20 past four I'm not too sure what time the pier is actually open till but it's I'm absolutely freezing now, so yeah, I think it's I think it's time for me to go now. Oh, this is the other thing that was closed, I just realised. Yeah, this is the I-220 drop tower. Yeah, there's no, there's no lap bar on it, so this is down for maintenance as well. It's a double-sided one as well, so that's not open either. Yeah, the thing is as well... 
like I did the last vlog, um, is it worth visiting Brighton in winter? I would say yes, if you want a nice day out, um, where it's quiet and there's not much to do though. But yeah, like even for here, not everything's open. I've just noticed as well, this is the other ride that's closed, the Dragon Ride. It's all in pieces, so. But the rides that are is open, uh, there's the Twister, uh, the Spinning Coaster, Waltzer, Dodgems, Turbo's open, and a, a Zamperla Rail Race, Frogs. There's about eight rides. A kids ride here, there's an inflatable as well. But yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you for the hashtag gifted ticket and permission to film on the ride. However, I think you can film on rides anyway here, as long as you've got a chest harness. Like even at Turbo, it did, it did say that like no selfie sticks are allowed. So yeah, as long as it's on a you know chest harness, you'll be all right. Yeah, I think it's time to go, but it's always nice to come on the piers and get some nice footage. Yeah, like I said, it's, it's really busy on here. There's still like loads of people about. So it's nice that it is open for people to come and have a walk down the pier. It's free entry as well. I, don't, I didn't mention that. So yeah, you don't have to pay to come on the pier. Um, the one in Western Super May, you've got to pay a pound to get on it. Yeah, look at all the starlings. Hundreds of them. Yeah, people loving the starlings. Literally everyone down this side are all taking pictures and filming the starlings. Yeah, amazing to see. Nature, it, you know, it's finest, isn't it? There's a bally of birds flying in the air and if you actually look into the the nature of it as well, the birds never actually hit each other when they're flying as well, it's incredible really. But you've got all these little piers down here as well, actually, like jetties, I don't know if these were for something else, probably for boats to anchor onto at some point, but it's really cool, like the, the amount of people this place attracts, everyone's taking pictures of the birds and, well, if there was a sunset they'd be taking pictures of the sunset as well. Well, that's pretty much it for me, really. Um, yeah, I'm gonna finish up here because I got I want to take a nice picture of the of the sign here. But I hope you've enjoyed the vlog or the the, the three vlogs that I've filmed today from Sea Life Centre, the i360, and Brighton Palace Pier. If you have enjoyed them, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for next time I upload another video. Give the video a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it because it really helps me out and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully next weekend. That said, I'm going to do a podcast, my first ever podcast, so that should be interesting and then hopefully got to do the uh, Valentine's Fair at Brooklyn's as well, one of the first fun fairs of the year. But yeah, from Brighton Palace Pier, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.